Hey everyone, it's CCS and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2. Now, it's been a while since I played this, since the incident over the summer. So, and there's been a lot of updates since, uh, since my departure from the game. Plus, I also missed the Splatfest, and it happened to be the Fork vs. Spoon Splatfest. They have another Splatfest that was just announced recently. Actually, it was announced yesterday, but I didn't really get to seeing what it was. So I have no idea what it's going to be. So, let's see what it's going to be. And I have a feeling that Pearl's team is obviously going to win. And by the by the time I'm looking at this, it looks like it's going to be, be happening next weekend. Which means it's going to be on the 21st. Also, um... Yeah, remember, I said in my Octodad gameplay that I had a, that the Splat... It's unfair because, you know, at this point, okay? You know, at this point, because I said, what the hell did I say? You know, Octodad is cool for games. How about that? Just to make things easier, because I'm going to be recording this before the Splatfest. And whenever it comes out, the Splatfest is going to be, I'm going to be putting, Mike is going to be uh, editing the episodes and putting them out when the Splatfest comes out, when I record it. So let's, hopefully that will uh, actually happen. Hopefully he'll be able to do the episodes in that uh, short amount of time. Um, what the hell do I, was I going to say? Also, uh, now I remember, 4.0 came out recently too, and I had a channel, and I had a trailer about it on the Nintendo YouTube channel. A lot of stuff has been updated. So, let's get up to it. I honestly thought there was going to be some new hairstyles for the Octolings, but it seems like that's not the case. We got it. We got a Splatfest. Apparently, there's going to be 11 more Splatfests. Uh, that includes this one that's going to be coming up. After this Splatfest is over, there's going to be 10 more Splatfests. Which means the last Splatfest will be next year in July. She's always too nervous to do it, but whatever. Hey! Oh, it was on the 22nd. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, you know which team I'm going to be on, right? Why does that? Why does that cord thing keep coming out of my head? Okay. I'm pretty sure you know at this point wh which which one I want to do. So let's uh, go with retro. Why would I go with modern when you could go with retro? To be honest, I'm not even sure what the point of this question is. I mean, why would anyone be willing to choose the old over the new? Are you serious about the disrespect of the classics right now? Look, I'm sure old stuff is all fine and good in its time, but times change. Like the Atari crash of 83? Yeah, that has changed. Old fashions grow stale, and old tech is straight up obsolete. Please, everyone comes back to style eventually. It's all cyclopy. I mean, uh, like, Super Nintendos cost over a hundred dollars into what they used to cost. So, no, I mean it costs more than what they used to cost. It's very rare to find a, a Super Nintendo around here. Like my the the current Nintendo 64 I had was over a hundred uh, was over a hundred bucks. It was more than it should have been. And racking up high scores in Squid Jump was basically my old childhood. What is this Jet Set Radio? What is it Jet Set Radio you're talking about? I still sneak over to Acopolis Plaza some days to play the old arcade machines. Acopolis Plaza? That place is a ghost town. Oh, Inkopolis Plaza. It's the place where uh, the Inkling would hang out in the, in the first game. And I'm sure Mike knows about it, even though he, I... Like, Inkopolis Plaza is uh, like the old version of this place. Like, here's a picture of Inkopolis Plaza if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, that was an important picture, so... And it's not technically a ghost town if you played the game already. 
And if you're still playing it and own a Wii U. If you, it's not technically a ghost town. People still played the first Splatoon in 2018, believe it or not. So it's not a ghost town. Marina, you're disrespecting the times. Haven't you ever heard the saying, stay fresh? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. What? Why? No, no, I definitely have not. I am such a liar. I know who says that. I know who, who both says that. How, how, hey, Trey, you got a shout out. First shout out of the return. How about that? How are you going to stay fresh while wearing your grandma's bell, bell bottom? <gasps> you leave Gab Gab out of this! What about you at home? Head over to the Splatfest terminal and pick a side. I'm picking retro! Also, there was a new a level that was announced. It is called Anko V Games. An Anko V Games. Oh, I get it now. Oh my god. I always thought it was Anko V. I'm such, a, I'm such a loser. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I'm at level level five. I'm. It's nothing's better than starting over. I was at level twenty eight when I last played this. So before anything happened, I was able to. Oh, retro. Why wouldn't we go for retro? Am I right? Oh, oh, frick. I, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. But, we can live with that. Do you still have the same shoes on? Oh my god, why didn't I sit and change the shoes? Okay, so, oh, I'm at level 6. Never mind. Pick a side. Enjoy your Splatfest tea. Time to take a picture of that Splatfest. Okay. Remember that you're playing a modern on a modern console. Yeah, I totally get that. But I'm going to be going. I'm pro. I don't know. I'm running in the 90s. That's the spaghetti. That's the spaghetti. Oh God. Hey, Jocelyn, you got a shout out. Okay. Got a splat SC, huh? Look, I'm not supposed to do this, but yeah, we saw this before. I mean, I saw this before. You don't have to do it. Ah, frick! That would have been perfect for me to have. Oh my god, it's still. The thing is still there? The frickin' train, man. A frickin' train, man. I'm taking as many uh, uh, pictures as possible. I saw that one before. Running in the 90s, huh? I'm well aware that I'm playing in a modern console. So, Splatoon versus Splatoon 2? Okay. Ah, I get it. I get it. Don't you get it? Because I do. Seriously, this is, a, this is some amazing work. I don't know how they're able to do this on a pad. Now, this is definitely going to be my absolute favorite, but, you know, I was about to take it that picture twice. I mean, I was legitimately, on purposely going to do that. Wrong rat, long radish tea. Should I get it? Yeah, I'll get it, because, because the black v-neck tea was one of my favorites. Why not? I mean, am I, am I right? Oh yeah, this is episode 65. Good luck, Team Retro. You're damn right. Go, Team Retro! Hashtag Retro! Oh, I think I took that picture twice. Damn it. Yep, took it twice. No, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. That was from a different day. Don't mind it. Oh, yeah. I also... I was also able to t keep all my pictures after that happened. <laughs> ah, I love those pictures. I love that meme. Your mom gay. No, you. 
I was able to keep all my pictures when uh, when the save data was taken down, so that's good. Let's see what else they have in store. In this store. Wow. These are some creative ones. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got a headband for some reason. Okay. Don't be strange! Got this. I'm definitely gonna get this. I'm gonna get it. Damn it, I coulda paid for that first! Ba bum bum bum. Like all good games, you have to start off fresh first, or whatever. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to record episodes at 30 to 40 minutes at times. Let's go Team Otter and go Marina. Yeah, but hey, hey, I know I didn't mention this the first time, but there was actually a time... There was actually, uh, Pearl won the, the last Splatfest that I didn't take part in. And uh, Marina was obviously pissed because she won more than she should have at this point. And you know what? That's not good for Marina. Because she got so mad to the point where she said, Oh my god, shut up, Marie. I really want this for, uh, for the holidays. If I get to recording uh, this in the holidays, right? Evolution tea. Which one should I... Ah, screw it! Okay. Any more? Any more we have here? Okay, so Animal Crossing. Yeah! The Ring of Back Animal Crossing and Isabel was just announced for, for Smash. What is this? Freaking, uh... Now I remember. It's Senior Pillow's video. If you don't know Senior Pillow... Then what the hell are you doing with your life? Crash for Smash. I don't know if they would allow Sony characters in video games. To be honest. But, then again, they did bring Sega characters into the mix. I mean, there's only one character- There's only one to two characters that they brought to, to Smash. And that was Sonic and Shadow, so at this point. Why do I say at this point a lot? Uh, it's it's a problem, but I can't seem to get get past it. Anything else? Anything else? No. Okay, got it. Let's change our uh, splatty. <laughs> um, we got this, this, and we got this. Da -bum -bum. We might as well go back to the retro specs. Or we could just do this. But I never talked this much in this Splatoon flat video, have I? Okay. You know, I had to uh, get my uh, red Joy Con out. I had to send it out because uh, the ZR button wasn't working. It wasn't working. I don't know what to tell you. It was it wasn't working, so I had to get a different one. But it turns out they didn't even have a red Joy-Con. So, what does that tell you? Hey, Acorn873, you got a shout out. I've been getting a lot more people after I made my uh, Franco public. It's been uh, pretty intense. Um, so I had to get a different Joy-Con, and it turns out there was no- they didn't have any red ones in stock. They had black, that- I mean, they had gray or blue, so I took the uh, blue one, and now I have matching Joy-Cons. And I kind of like it this way. Even though I'm still trying to adjust to it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing, uh, one- Oh, also, I never even used the Inkling once in this 
in uh, when I restarted Splatoon 2 over again. The thing is, I immediately went to Octo Expansion before I did anything. I love the King Cap. Da da dum, da 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 bum. Da 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 da. I don't think so. Got you, Jacques. Is that John? Is that Jacques' uh, bird cousin, or maybe his bird friend? Aha, bird friend. You get it? I know. Nothing's better than starting over, don't forget. Oh, by the way, Nintendo Switch Online won't be supporting cloud saves. For uh, a certain amount of uh, titles. And I think we all know what they are. If we saw the recent Nintendo Directs, okay? If. Uh, they won't be supporting Splatoon 2. And they won't be supporting, uh, let's go, Pikachu or Eevee. So... <sighs> We real I was really expecting them to support everything when they announced cloud saves. Whoa! You came out of nowhere, Jokeda. We killed each other at the same time. How about that? You know, bloody disgusting. One of my favorite uh one of my favorite uh websites that review horror movies. Um they actually talked about how Splatoon 2 how Splatoon could be a horror game. <laughs> You know what? It kind of does make sense what you think about it. Uh, if you didn't see the article, you should probably go check it out. Um, the horror game uh, concept is basically this, uh, it's basically all of them, like inklings exploding and their clothes getting ripped off. What does that tell you? That they die every time and their ink is basically their blood? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that kind of disturbing at this point? Bad decision. Is he saying Thanos? Thanos! Thanos! Pictures of Thanos! Thanos! Pictures of Thanos, Thanos, Infinity War. Nineteen ninety one. Wanna well, go for another one? Let's do another one. Why the hell not? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Am mm -hmm. Turns out that scuba, uh, those, uh, those duckbill things that I never got the name of as a kid and still haven't thought of now, scuba gear or whatever, the part, webbed feet that you put on your feet and then you go faster and then you, like, swim faster or some crap that was given by Grisco, Grisco or whatever, if you get that, it's, it's not the, it's not the shoes or whatever. It's literally an entire set of uh, of clothes. It's literally called scuba gear. Now has uh, now has Grisco ever given uh, given awards uh, rewards that were like full costumes? Have because I think this uh, scuba gear one is literally the uh, one of the only ones that I've heard. That were just full sets. Am I right? I mean, I I don't know. 
because Octo Expansion seems to uh, think differently because I got everything. Also, I had to make sure I had I completed Octo Expansion as fast as possible before continuing on with this game. And when turning on uh, the Nintendo Switch Online app on my uh, on my phone, I saw a question mark, question mark, question mark for I don't know. It's pretty hard to explain, even though it's very simple to explain. I'm not good at explaining things like this. Ink Inktopus. That's a clever name, I guess. Also, you got a star behind your name, zero one one zero one or one. Well, I wear it's one of my favorite levels. Oh yeah, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online thing is going to be starting up in two days. It's the 16th right now, 12:30 at night, and uh, in two days on Tuesday, it's going to be the Nintendo Switch Online thing. It's going to be showing up on, uh, it's going to be available. But it's going to take a few hours before it's fully functional. And you know how much it costs for a tw 12... You know how much it costs for a 12-month subscription of using online services? It costs $19.99. And you know what? That's pretty freaking, uh... That's pretty freaking generous on Nintendo at this point. No, that's really generous, because you know what? The Xbox Gold membership is literally... It's, it's $59.99. I'll accept my fate. I'm trying to say that Nintendo... The Nint Frick. The Xbox Gold membership for 12 months... Uh, a 12-month membership... It costs like $59.99. I can't- and, Oh my god. I got you. I got you. Frickin' camper. Replay that, because I know it's a camper. I hate campers. This isn't Call of Duty. Splatoon over Fortnite. Who's with me? Mike, are you with me? Because- Because Fortnite needs to die. Please tell me you're with me. On a scale of 1 to 10, please tell me. Tell me. Tell me, please! Mar Mariana. Oh god. Ah! It's that one guy that keeps killing me. $59.99 for uh, a 12 month membership of, of Xbox Gold. But for the Nintendo Switch Online, it's only $29.99. And that right there is too generous of Nintendo. Because I have more than enough money to pay for something like that. Why, man? It's you again! Looks like we won't be winning this one. Thanos! Thanos! Can't believe it never realized that they were saying Thanos. Oh, you son of a... Okay. I hope we win. It looks like we may be able to win in a short amount of time. The tables have turned. Oh, frick. <laughs> On me. The tables have turned. We can do this. Not really. This is not good. Wow, in that short amount of time, too? I kind of knew they were going to win. You son of a bitch! Okay. Why? I can't stand that sound. Well, I got an upgrade, which matters for some reason. Oh. Oh, God. Jeepnet, Jepnes, Paladins, good choice of a game. Fisher, yeah, you fish for views. Mm. <sighs> 
Oh boy! I am so effing tired. It's not. It's. It's so funny. It's so funny to be tired. Ugh. How do we screw that up? You know that whenever all four of your team members are down the crapper, you know that you have done goofed at this, that point because they're going to take over the place. Oh, should I look up uh, what it's going <sighs> to... Let me just think. Um, so we're going to go to selectin2.com or something. Okay, because there's actually some really important news that happened for 4.0. You know what? Over 400 megabytes uh, w was needed for me to play the game. Was to use the update or something. Oh my god! I can't even connect to the website. Okay. Apparently, uh, .ca does not work. <laughs> 4.0 update. I'm trying to find it. Updates and DLC. There we go. I'll read it after I'm done with this. Why does the cord keep getting out from my headphones? Little! All of a sudden, Cat became Italian. Oh no! Oh yes! Oh no! They got the new. Yep, the Kenza splatter shot. I think I'm gonna be using that one for a long time. Oh, that was part of the new update. There were new weapons. They had a Kenza Collection One and Kenza Collection Two that's gonna be coming out soon. Also, there's a new map that just came out as well. In this new update. You son of a bitch. Where is my team? What was that guy's name? Putz12? Is he still flipping out on a game that's supposed to be fun? Even though it's kind of annoying that you keep getting, uh... Feels like oh Please stop using your ballers to get ahead. I hope someone uses the super jump soon. Seriously, I think it would be best if people come over here. No! You've got to be effing kidding me! How was it unstable? Are you kidding me? This is the first episode back, and now I greeted with a stupid connection error? Frick you! Well, I might as well read it. I might as well read this. Stupid freaking thing. Okay. Why the hell not? Okay, let's go to game updates. Oh my god. Screw you at this point. Okay, so... What we got here... Where's the updates? Where the hell are the updates? 3.1... 3... Oh my god. It went all the way to 3.1.12. Where the hell are the updates? News and video. There we go. Seem to pick the wrong one. Okay, so I'm putting the microphone close to me so you'll be able to hear me properly. Then you're not have to pay attention to this screen. So up yours at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna be reading the entire thing. Hope you can withstand my stuttering here. 
Uh, be uh, be sure to put some uh, low music in the background if you want, Mike. Because it's just going to be me talking. Uh, sort of, use multiple uh, music if you want. Just make sure to keep it a little bit quiet. Okay, version 4.0.0 is coming. New weapon sets. N See, I told you I was going to stutter through this. New weapon sets, part of the Kenza collection, arrive tonight. In addition, Splatfests have been refreshed with new features and sub and special weapons are on the way soon. Seriously, they should fix the fact that whenever you lose, whenever you lose your connection, that nothing happens to your progress. Like, you still earn your, you still earn your, um, you still, you still earn the ink that you earned up. You still earn the, the like, the cash that you get. You still get a level up. You still do, you make pro, you still make progress in, uh, how high you get with the freshness. But no, they still haven't fixed that, and it's really freaking annoying. Okay, these beauties are from the Kenza collection, a special ordered line of of new weapons based on the ones you may recognize. And they look freaking, they look freaking cool. Um, the weapons are painted with monotone designs created by the gear brand Tony Kenza. Here's a Kenza collection. Sounds like a play on words from Contact Collection. And here's a picture of Contact Collection. If you don't know what that is, it's a video game that's extremely popular for God knows why. I have no idea, idea why it's so freaking popular. I still don't know. They include the collection's signature red laundry clip. This, this first Kenza collection will be released today, which was a few days ago. Uh, starting with 4.0.0. Splatfest and Splatoon 2 will also be changed significantly. Two new modes, Normal and Pro, replace the re previous Solo and Team modes. Yari Kawasaki Ken Ken from the Nearsighted Shooter Squid Warriors 1 to 10. Oh, so that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about in a moment. In Normal mode, you can jump in into a Splatfest battle on your own or join up with one or three friends. One to, two, one to three friends of the same Splatfest team. If you join a match as a group of two or three, random solo players will be matched up with a, to make a group, group of four. In this mode, the amount of ink of the amount you ink is added to any win bonus you get to determine your clout. This is a new word they made up apparently. I, no, no, it's not this word. I think, I think, I don't know. If your team is on a win streak, the game will try and match you against teams with similar streak. Interesting. So it's like the it's like it's like the the power that we see. The near side is true to script warriors. Or something. Moreover, when weapons, gear, or general styles of four players in your team meet certain conditions, a nickname and matching bonus will be given to your team, which is probably randomly generated. Pro mode is for those who want to go solo and push themselves to the limit. In pro mode, you'll be judged on your Splatfest power. Raise it high enough and you'll be able to make it into the Splatfest Top 100. Interesting. Let's see how I do in that. In this mode, you will increase your clout by beating the opposing team. You will get more clout by beating the teams with the highest Splatfest power. I feel like I'm going to be playing that most of the time. In addition no, to the above, 10x battles will be added in both divisions. These are rare matches that will occur if you are lucky. If And if you win, your contribution points will be multiplied by 10. And believe it or not, there's a rumor, there's a rumor that super rare 100x battles could also occur. Oh boy. The Dude Society? Am I really reading this right? If your friend uh, wins a 10x battle, or uh, if someone wins a lot, uh, uh, one, if someone wins a 100x match, teams may appear on the screen, on the big screen in the public square. Also, if you're in the lobby during or during matchmaking, such information will pop up on your screen like a news flash. Um, team nicknames are also shown in regular mode, so you may want to try scoring a cool team name and winning these rare matches on rare matches on bragging rights. <laughs> the final Splatfest results are now decided on based on three factors: votes, club from normal mode players, and club from pro mode players. Even if your side loses the popularity contest. 
normal and pro mode victories can slowly but surely turn to table. Of course, participants on the winning side will receive slightly more super seed snails and will work for their victory. Good luck. So this one right here, Nintendo Switch up online special offer. Now, kind of like the look of this one. It's a short one, so it shouldn't be that long. It's only like a few paragraphs. It's two paragraphs, actually. If I missed any uh, shoutouts, please put them out like I know, because I'm not even paying attention to the screen with the communication errors and it's hurtful crap. The Nintendo Switch Online service uh, launches uh, two days from now, September 18th. Nintendo Switch owners won't automatically become a member when the service starts, like I said. So you will need to purchase an individual or family membership in order to avoid disruption of your online players watching too. I hope that once I purchase this, that things like this do not happen. I swear to God, if it does happen, I don't know what's gonna happen. Happen, happen, happen. We just heard that. As a special offer, Nintendo account holders with 12 months Nintendo Switch Online membership, individual or family, will receive download codes for exclusive in-year in-game gears of selecting tiers, which will now be available when you try to order them. Which which I am going to really enjoy. Because it's 1999 for God's sake. Anyways, that's the end of this. Before I end it, let's just see if I can purchase some uh, before I go. Nope, because everything sucks. This is so freaking bad. Freaking ridiculous. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully you enjoy some more, uh, more videos that come in 2019. Because this channel is going to be turning four years old. Hope to see you there.